Assalamualaikum Hi everybody In this video I want to tell you What I think About this human motor But before I continue I would like to show you The uh, input power Of this motor At the moment We can see that the uh, power supply voltage is 7.1 volts and the uh, uh, current draw is 0 0.28 amps now we can calculate 0 0.28 times 7.1 volts you can see that the uh, input power of this motor is less than 2 watts it's 1.98 watts this is the uh, minimum uh, power um, I can achieve until now and yesterday I uh, destroyed the uh, transistor this transistor because I wanted to try something and I remove this light bulb and then um, run the rotor the motor with uh, 10 volts of input power and then I have to replace the uh, IGBT and then for the uh, safety for the uh, future safety I add this um, neon light bulb I'm going to show you the uh, how the uh, neon uh, make the uh, or can save the uh, transistor I'm going to turn off the uh, um, power supply first and then remove the uh, light bulb and then start the uh, motor again Now I'm going to set the uh, power supply to 8 volts Now I'm going to turn the rotor You can see the uh, neon uh, light bulb flashing If I turn the uh, rotor slowly the neon will not flash with um, blue or violet um, light see that
No, it is too fast, too slow, again too fast. If I can get the right uh, speed, I can get the uh, normal um, color. Um, it's like orange color. Anyway, I will continue with the uh, video. Sorry. Okay, now I'm going to tell you what I think of this Newman motor. Okay. This Newman motor um, is very similar to a two-stroke gasoline motor because we have um, power pulse every 360 degrees. Okay, the uh, two-stroke uh, gasoline motor um, has the uh, this characteristic characteristic as well. Okay, one power stroke every three hundred and sixty degrees, and the. Uh, Pulse timing is also very important for this motor and I think this uh, particular motor is very similar to John Bettini's um, Zero Force motor. The, uh, the difference is that the uh, the uh, zero force motor has two coils on the side or around the uh, rotor and the uh, also the timing uh, the pulse timing is exactly the same as this okay for this motor the uh, timing the pulse timing is very important and the uh, rotor or ma uh, the uh, permanent magnet um, orientation must be like this. So it must be 90 degree to the uh, coil orientation. Okay, it depends also of the uh, magnet position this way or this way. Uh, on this motor, if I put the uh, magnet orientation this way and the uh, pulse. Um, timing on this position the rotor will turn clockwise direction and if I uh, put the uh, magnet orientation this way the rotor will turn um, counter -clock clockwise Okay, and the uh, 
maximum uh, magne magnetic field disturbance is on the side of this motor and not on top or at the bottom um, I don't know why but this is uh, what I see on this motor maybe it is because um, the uh, this is the uh, place where the uh, two magnetic field um, collide so if the uh, rotor position like this and you pulse the coil uh, when the motor or the when, when the uh, rotor in this position you have um, 90 degree angle of um, magnetic fields so the uh, magnetic line of the uh, rotor will deflect it by the uh, magnetic field of this uh, coil or the uh, electromagnet okay maybe it is the uh, answer or maybe not I don't know and what else oh yeah so if you want to um, add some extra coils you can put the uh, extra coils on the side of this motor but uh, I don't think that the uh, output power from the uh, extra coil is enough to make this rotor or uh, to make this motor runs in closed loop mode so I think uh, this particular motor is not a um, free energy device. Okay. Um, I think that's it for now. Oh, one more thing. I'm going to put um, my PayPal link on the description on the uh, video description so uh, if you want to help me you can donate through my through paypal and uh, um, i really appreciate um, your help and with, with your donation, I can um, continue my research. Okay? Thank you for watching. Until next video. Bye-bye.